West Indies 282, England 38 for three after day one of test number three. England looking to whitewash the West Indies. West Indies are trying to salvage something from this series. Basil Butcher, how do you feel after day one of this contest? I think the game at the right now is evenly is evenly balanced. Even though England have lost three wickets, because one, it's a slow, it's a low score on a batting trap, uh, a friendly, a, a somewhat friendly batting trap. England still have five capable batsmen in there, in the in the hut, so to speak. Two of them are batting, and three in the pavilion that that are more than capable of overhauling that score and putting on a significant lead. The you know the conditions is why I would say so. Despite you know looking on the scorebook, you say thirty-eight for three, England in serious trouble. But one of the wickets was a was a night watchman, so it's not one of their one of their top batters that is in the in the um in the pavilion. So for that reason, I I looking at the match right now evenly balanced. West Indies could go ahead in my view if we get some early wickets in the fourth session. They'll have to bowl much better than they bowled when in a pretty similar position in the second test. By similar, I mean a position from which they um, could very well have taken control of the game yes. or at least remain evenly um, situated with the England side. But they bowled very poorly in that second innings and England were able to take the game away. So you would think that they will have to bowl much better on day two than we saw in the previous test. Yeah, um, that's true. Um Got to give them credit. They bowled pretty well today. Um, their plans were were were, were um, on. They 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 executed their plans pretty well. So I'm I I am expecting more of the same. Having said that, we only saw two bowlers on show, um, Alzari and um, and Seals. We still got a couple other bowlers in there. So um, that will be something to see tomorrow. Greg Raffitt, 61, Jason Holder, 59, Joshua De Silva, 49. Kurt McKenzie, 12, Alec Athene is 2, Kevin Hart, 13. Is it simply a coincidence that the most uh, the three most experienced batsmen in the side are the, were the ones who got the rents? Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence at all. <laughs> um, that would be expected, that... Uh, the more experienced guys in, 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 in difficult situations or somewhat difficult situations would be the one to stick out their head by virtue of having that experience and seeing these situations a lot more than the less experienced guys. So not so I'm not surprised at all. Um going in from the last um the last test inning that we batted, um those those were some of the guys um uh, that um Stood up, a holder batted pretty well in the second inning. Not too bad. The captain not himself. The silver did not get a real score in the second inning, but he did score well in the first inning. Um, so those guys coming into form uh, at this moment, not surprised. Uh, you know, Hodge and um, Atenez. You know, you still see you still see some of the some of the times they get defeated in this series that you could chalk it up to that inexperience in them. You know, um, these are guys that played a handful of test cricket, so they would not have seen a lot of things that that say at uh, the silver who was already seen and obviously Holden Brackweight. Well, um, Mackenzie, some may say he was fortunate to um, play in this third test. Some may say he is unfortunate because it may just be another opportunity to expose it. How do you see it? I think McKenzie, in my view, I, I'm looking at this because I, I I had I had said I think the two changes that would have been made would have been McCaskey coming in for McKenzie and ov obviously um, uh, Moti for Sinclair. But as I looked at it with McCaskey, McKenzie, I, I, I start. I, I said to myself, "Is it fair to throw McCaskey into this cauldron at this point of the series, right? Um, with uh, with a test series coming up 
against South Africa in a couple of weeks, right? One might say, yes, you could have thrown him into the cauldron um, or drop McKenzie down one and put Athenes at number three and see that maybe McKenzie, this number three thing is not working out. Let's give him a little bit of space, right? If, in my view, if you were playing McKenzie again, I thought I would have dropped him down the order. So to give him some some um, some space, you know? But the interesting thing about McKenzie in this series, he has walked to the wicket with the opening batters, as we would say in old-time parlance, seen off the new ball. He has not walked to the wicket, 10 runs, one wicket, four runs, one wicket. You know, he has walked to the wicket you know, when, for the most part, they've seen I mean, Brathwaite in the first test, that was um, the exception there where we got blown away, right? But in the second test and this te and this inning, he has walked the wicket with a nice score on the board. Today, he came out and played some some beautiful shots. Got it's three four, point. right? And, but... um. To be fair to him, the ball that he got, it was a beauty. A ball well, that's Basil, some people would say that if you're gonna plant yourself in your stance and you don't move forward, back, or anything in between, that anything mm -hmm. will be beauty. Yeah, well, that's true. Now the question, the question I would the, 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 the point I would raise in terms of McKenzie, the question I would ask him in terms of of um wood bowling a left-hander, what ball would you be looking for when Wood is bowling to you? Would it be the ball coming back in? So if 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 you tell me yes, because you would have the data, you would have the analyst think, this is the ball Wood bowls exportly well at left-handers, the ball that comes back into them. So therefore, you have to set yourself up looking for that ball not seeing the ball pitch outside and um, you looking at the line and open up the gate to drive and the ball swing back and go through the gate and bowl you down, right? So that, that's a question because the funny thing is, I heard the, I heard the commentator state, that's a ball that would bowls well at left-handers. So M McKenzie has to be looking for that ball, right? So... You, you, you have to wonder about these guys planning when they come out. I, I, I don't wonder about it, Basil, because I'm <laughs> aware that we do not have a high-performance program. Uh -huh. And that would be one of the components, in fact, one of the major components of a high-performance program. But what would you say England needs to do on day two? I think England, 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 these two guys that are batting right now, as we would use the old time parlance, set out their stalls, right? England, England's job right now, uh, from an England perspective, is to, to pass the score and put on a significant lead into the third day, somewhere around T, just after T, into the third day, if they combat, if they combat to that point, right? And then have go at the West Indies, right? England may also, could be also thinking that even though we're down, down two batsmen, because the third is, the wood is not a batsman, we could be still look in our mind because of the conditions to look to bat one time in this game. Right? Um, so they could be looking at 500. What would West Indies, what would West Indies need to do to make sure that they don't lose the grip that they have so far on this inning? Well, we're going to have to see similar type bowling like we saw today. As also when they bowled on the fourth morning, in that first hour or so on the fourth day, when Seals picked up, I think, three wickets in that, in, in, in that period of play. Is that kind of bowling they're going to need to keep them in this game? Because we cannot afford to be bowling and guys scoring repeatedly square of the wicket, which would mean we're bowling short and bowling on both sides of the, of the wicket. We have to be consistent and keep pressure 
on England and not let them let them have to work very hard for whatever runs and keep the pressure on them. So force them into mistakes. That's our charge. Basil, always good to hear from you and to uh, enjoy listen to your analysis and you always give food for thought. So here's hoping that uh, from a West Indian point of view, that it can be a good day for West Indies in England. Thanks again. Yes. All right. Thank you again, Phil.